Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very, very interesting radical equation problem. It is fifth root of x plus 13 whole power 5 plus 33 equal to x plus 16. And we have to find out real solutions only. Let's get started by considering power 5 both sides. This side also. Now from LHS, I can cancel fifth root with power 5. Now I will write our equation as x plus 13 whole power 5 plus 33 equal to x plus 16 whole power 5. Now I will take x plus 16 bracket to the LHS and x plus 13 bracket to the RHS. So I will be writing LHS as 33 minus x plus 16 whole power 5 and RHS will be negative, negative x plus 13 whole power 5. We can write this is equal to minus 1 power 5 times x plus 13 whole power 5. Now I will write our equation once again 33 minus x plus 16 whole power 5 equal to minus 1 power 5 times x plus 13 whole power 5. Now I will consider fifth root both sides. Fifth root, fifth root. RHS we can cancel fifth root with these power 5. So it will be left with minus x plus 13. In LHS it would be fifth root of 33 minus x plus 16 whole power 5. Now I will take all the term to one side. So I will be writing our equation x plus 13 plus fifth root of 33 minus x plus 16 whole power 5 and RHS will be 0. Now I will add 3 to both sides plus 3. So I will add 3 here also plus 3. So these two brackets will match. So it will become x plus 16 plus fifth root 33 minus x plus 16 whole power 5 equal to 3. Let's write here. So I will write x plus 16 plus fifth root of 33 minus x plus 16 whole power 5 equal to 3. Now straight away substitution x plus 16 as we have. So I will write let x plus 16 equal to suppose a. So our equation will become a plus fifth root of 33 minus a power 5 equal to 3. Now another substitution I will use. So I will be writing this radicant equal to b power 5. So let us consider 33 minus a power 5 equal to b power 5. So from this equation itself, I can write a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. And once I will put this substitution to the equation, it will become a plus fifth root of b power 5 equal to 3. We can cancel this fifth root with power 5. So second equation will become a plus b equal to 3. Now you can see one very easy system of equation is there. a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. a plus b equal to 3. Let's solve this system. I will write a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. This is our equation 1. 
and second equation I will write a plus b equal to 3. Now I will consider a squaring and cubing of this equation. So I will write here a plus b whole square equal to 3 square. And here I will be writing a plus b whole cube equal to 3 cube. Let's apply a plus b whole square formula. a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to 9. Here I will be writing a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b equal to 27. Now I will use another substitution ab equal to t. Let me write here. Let a b equal to t. So I can write from here a square plus b square and sum of cubes value. So a square plus b square value will be 9 minus 2t because a b is t and a cube plus b cube value will be this is t this is 3. So I will be writing 90 equal to 27. In next step, I will be writing a cube plus b cube equal to 27 minus 90. Now our equation 1 is a power 5 plus b power 5 is 33. So I will take the product of these two equations. These two. From here we will be having a power 5 plus b power 5. Let us consider product. So here it is. Now I will take product. a square times a cube a power 5. b square times b cube b power 5. So let me write here. a power 5 plus b power 5. And then cross product. a cube b square. And then a square b cube. So I will take a square b square common. Then in bracket I need to write a plus b. And RHS is unchanged 9 minus 2t times 27 minus 90. Now a power 5 plus b power 5. I will write 33. a square b square will become t square. a plus b is 3. So 33 plus 3t square equal to RHS. Let me write 33 plus 3t square equal to 9 minus 2t and then 27 minus 90. Now from the second bracket I will take 3 out. So 9 minus 2t and then 3 and then I will be writing here 9 minus 3t. Left hand side if I will take 3 common then in bracket it would be 11 plus t square. Now I can cancel 3 with this 3. So it is left with t square plus 11 equal to 9 minus 2t times 9 minus 3t. Let's multiply. So this will become 81 and then it will be minus 27 minus 18 minus 45t and then plus 6t square. Left hand side is t square plus 11. Take all the term to RHS. So I will be having one quadratic equation 5t square minus 45t plus 70 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 5. So we can write t square minus 90 plus 14 equal to 0. Now easily we can factorize. So I can write here t minus 2 times t minus 7 equal to 0. So from here we are having t equal to 2 and 7. Remember t was ab. So I can write here ab equal to t 
equal to 2 and 7. Now I will utilize our equation number 2. It was a plus b equal to 3. Sum of roots, product of roots. Let's solve. I will write a plus b equal to 3. a b equal to 2. One system. Second system would be a plus b equal to 3. a b equal to 7. Second system. Let's solve both. So first system if I will write. See this is sum of roots. Product of roots. I can frame one quadratic whose roots are a and b and I will write in a itself. So a square minus sum of roots minus 3a plus product of roots 2 equal to 0. Here also a square minus 3a plus 7 equal to 0. So from first equation I can easily factorize a minus 1 times a minus 2 equal to 0. Conclusion is a equal to 1 and 2. From this quadratic equation, I can calculate discriminant itself. It would be minus 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 7. So it is 9 minus 28. So it is minus 19. This is negative. It will generate complex solutions. We will reject this. So A equal to 1 and A equal to 2 accepted solutions. Now A was our substitution. It was x plus 16. So it will be equal to 1 comma 2. Take away 16 from both sides. We will have our answer. x is equal to 1 minus 16 minus 15. 2 minus 16 minus 14. So there are two real solutions. Negative 14 and negative 15. Let's verify it. I will write here check. Let us consider x is equal to negative 15 and then I will consider x is equal to negative 14. So LHS will be fifth root of negative 15 plus 13. So I can write minus 2 whole power 5 plus 33 is our LHS and RHS is minus 15 plus 16 so plus 1 fifth root of this is minus 32 plus 33 so it is fifth root of 1 which is equal to 1 and it is matching with our rhs that means this is true and verified solution now let's consider negative 14 so i'll be writing my LHS fifth root of negative 14 plus 13 minus 1 whole power 5 plus 33. Right hand side, if I will write minus 14 plus 16, so 2. Left hand side, I can write fifth root of minus 1 plus 33. And this value will be fifth root of 32. 32 further can be written as fifth root of this is 2 power 5. Now I can cancel fifth root and power 5. So this will become 2 and which is our RHS. And that means minus 14 is also true and verified solution. And it is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.